As a SaaS CFO, you've secured a seat at the table where all the important business decisions are made. All of your hard work has finally paid off and you've well and truly made it. However, once the dust settles and the excitement of landing the role of a SaaS CFO wears thin, you'll come to realise that securing a seat at the table was just the beginning. Now that you've got that seat, you need to prove that you have a right to be there. The company's focus has shifted from accomplishing product and market fit to scaling an epic SaaS company. And as the one in charge of everything finance, your chief financial officer duties have escalated to include things that directly impact the growth and profitability of the company. So what are the main SaaS CFO duties on your plate? And what can you do to lead the finance team and the company to roaring success? Let's take a closer look at the top 10 SaaS CFO duties for scaling an organization to new heights. Number one, identify your SaaS CFO duties for each growth stage of the business. The growth strategies you target depend on what stage of growth your SaaS company is currently in. If you're the CFO of a startup SaaS company, you might focus on identifying the right product and market fit. Your main goals consist of raising seed capital, building basic accounting systems, and identifying key SaaS metrics. On the other hand, if the company has scaled beyond the initial startup stage, you might want to hone in on building a repeatable sales model that'll increase profits and secure future scalability. Whatever stage your company is at, it's important to be aware of it and what part you have to play in the overall growth of the business. It's also worth noting that your SaaS CFO duties will likely evolve and differ depending on the growth stage of your company. Number two, accounting duties. Accounting isn't the most glamorous role of the modern CFO, but it is a necessary one. As the CFO, you must ensure accounting is always timely and accurate. The necessity of accounting increases as annual recurring revenue increases. While it's likely that a majority of accounting duties will be delegated elsewhere, the SaaS CFO must ensure everything is handled accordingly, especially if the accounting firm your company hired has little to no experience in SaaS. Number three, improve the operational efficiency of existing revenue streams. SaaS companies depend on streamlined revenue systems optimized for max profitability. As the SaaS CFO, you must identify areas of revenue leakage and reduce them. Search for potential inefficiencies within the existing revenue cycles. If you spot one or more issues, get to work coming up with a solution to improve the overall efficiency of those revenue streams. Think about other ways that you can steer the company towards operational efficiency. For example, areas such as billing, reporting and payments can all be automated. The more functions and mundane tasks that you can automate, the better. That way, you and your team can remain focused on more critical matters, such as keeping cash flow high and revenue leakage low. Number four, build a repeatable, profitable sales model. One of your top priorities as the CFO of a SaaS company is to help build and maintain a repeatable sales model that focuses on revenue growth. But achieving this requires a great deal of discipline. You likely run into obstacles as you discover what works and what doesn't. To build a sales model that is consistent, profitable and repeatable, you must put scalable systems in place, achieve profitable unit economics, raise Series A and B funding, and measure the company's sales efficiency metrics. The last of which is one of the most important SaaS CFO duties because fine-tuning sales efficiency is what will help you to create a repeatable, profitable and scalable sales model. Number five, collaborate with other departments. SaaS CFOs must work closely with other departments within the organization. For example, the customer success team can offer insights into things like the status of customers' subscriptions. This knowledge will help you recover lost revenue and reduce churn. To ensure a successful future as a SaaS CFO, you've got to become a friendly face to other departments. Focus on learning as much as you can about each of them. You must understand how they operate and how everything links together to strive towards achieving overarching business goals. 
Once you've collaborated with other departments, you can pull all of that knowledge and insights together to build the overall financial story of the company. Number six, SaaS KPI and metrics management. While traditional metrics such as net margin and gross profit are important to SaaS companies, there are a few key metrics to keep an eye on. Average revenue per user, churn rate, customer acquisition cost, customer lifetime value, lifetime value, customer acquisition cost ratio, monthly recurring revenue, net retention rate, days outstanding in sales, payback period. Tracking these metrics is vital to keep your finger on the pulse of the existing financial health of the company. Your CFO role will also expand to include not just managing KPIs, but educating relevant stakeholders on their meaning and importance too. You'll also have to report and interpret these KPIs to help senior management with data-driven decision making. Number seven, forge new SaaS revenue streams. The pressure is on for SaaS CFOs to identify new revenue streams and put scalable systems in place to prepare for the future growth of the business. As the CFO, you must find ways the company can expand its opportunity for increased revenue. When it comes to forging potential new revenue streams, SaaS CFO duties include everything from testing various discount strategies to assessing the feasibility of premiums impacting working capital. You could also think outside your usual region and consider expanding over geographical boundaries. Yes, this can lead to some complex obstacles around payment gateways and compliance regulations. But when done right, these strategies can open the business to new heights of profitability and growth. Number eight, budget control and cash management. The SaaS CFO duties are broad and you can expect to be in complete control of more traditional areas of finance, such as budgeting and cash management. This involves creating budgets to help meet the business's strategic growth goals and reviewing spending across various departments. Some departments may need their budgets adjusted, which will also fall under the CFO's radar. As far as cash management goes, you take the centre stage and oversee things like bookkeeping, accounting and financial control activities. Some more traditional CFO duties include managing payroll, reports, income and expenses. Most importantly, you're required to ensure healthy cash reserves and cash flow. Number nine, capital allocation. SaaS CFO duties include taking control of capital allocation, which is vital to the success of the company. You'll establish and execute the allocation of capital based on budgeting priorities and strategic financial planning and analysis. Obtaining higher returns from lower outlays is just one of your goals here. You're expected to stay on top of current capital funding sources and always have a thorough understanding of cash availability. You'll also have to measure profit from internal investments, reallocate capital to areas of high growth and constantly evaluate your company's capital allocation strategy. And number 10, compliance. Yes, compliance remains a crucial part of the job of any SaaS CFO. Whether you like it or not, you've got to ensure the business is legal to do business. This involves ensuring entity taxes are paid and that the company pays profit-derived taxes to both federal and state governments. Keep on top of sales tax too, and make sure to pay sales-derived taxes and state payroll taxes. Don't forget company registrations, which are super important for any business that wants to remain in the government's good books. If you're working with a new company, register it as a business entity. SaaS CFO responsibilities reach into company liabilities too, so make sure you're always one step ahead with these to avoid getting yourself or the company in hot water. To continue this conversation with other CFOs and finance professionals, consider joining the Finance Alliance Slack community. It is the perfect place for finance professionals to connect, network, share job opportunities, ask questions and share ideas. Plus, it's free, so you've got nothing to lose. To join our Slack channel, 
simply follow the link in the description below and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more great videos like this one.